All right, guys, let's get the YouTube disclaimers out of the way. Uh, none of my statements or content constitute professional advice. Viewers that follow any advice, instructions, or suggestions do so at their own risk. And, of course, that's the way that it has to be because you are responsible for your own actions. Now, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, before I start my video today, I just want to walk around the ocean here and show everybody how good it looks. It's just such a fantastic looking vehicle. Look at this. Yeah, I think it's safe to say I really like this machine. And if Fisker does go bankrupt, it's going to be such a shame for the Fisker brand and the Fisker Ocean. Yesterday evening, right at the market close, right after the market closed, we got news that the Wall Street Journal was reporting that Fisker... Uh, I, I got it here. I'm going to read. I want to read exactly their title. So let's let's be clear on this. It said it, electric vehicle startup Fisker prepares for possible bankruptcy filing. Now notice the wording there: possible bankruptcy filing. You know, there's nothing good about bankruptcy. And as I said in one of my previous videos, you know, if Fisker goes bankrupt, retail's the first that gets squashed. It never ends well for retail. So, you know, when we got that news, I'm like, oh my gosh, what to do? Wasn't an easy decision. Uh, not at all. And I thought about doing a video and I just really wasn't in the mood and I, I wanted to collect my thoughts. And I talked to my wife about it and we decided that we would uh, sell 80%. Uh, we sold 80% of our holdings. And that was in shares. We sold 80% of our shares. And I was not happy about that. But, you know, at the time, I felt like it was uh, the right thing to do. And that was right around 18 cents, uh, you know, give or take very slightly. You know, the market has to move. And I did that in after hours. And you know, I even before I did that, I, I got on the forum, you know, and I told I told my crew, uh, you know, I was like, that's what I'm going to do, and I did it. And then you know, you sleep on it, uh, you think about it, you roll around ideas, and I figured, you know, today uh, Fisker would would get hammered really hard at the open, and I thought we might spike. We might drop because you never know. The market is so irrational. But what I was really looking for was a statement from Fisker. I was hoping, you know, Fisker would, would issue a statement this morning. And, you know, it's 413. Heck, they may have released one by now. I have no idea. Um, but we didn't get that. And after some deep thought and thinking about it and thinking about the way that the Wall Street Journal had worded that. I want to read it again. Let, let this sink in, okay? <clears throat> Fisker prepares for possible bankruptcy filing. And the more I dug into this, the more I felt like, you know, in some ways, this could be a setup. Um, I think there's entities out there that simply do not want Fisker to succeed. Um, and I think Fisker's had a very hard road to hoe, as the old expression goes, you know, and Fisker has done some, some self-inflicted things, okay? They've done some big things wrong, but one thing that is right is the product. The product is superb, um, and it keeps getting better. I mean, I love this ocean. I love driving it. It's fantastic, but, uh, you know, what, what are, what are we going to do about this? Um, you know, as, as retail, there's just really not much that we can do. And getting back to, you know, selling part of my holdings, uh, you know, I, I own quite a few shares. Uh, I never I never discuss share count, though. I, I don't find that an appropriate conversation to have. Um, and I own 
quite a few leaps and options and stuff like that. And, you know, I was thinking, okay, you know, let's leave 20% on the table, you know, and if we run, if, you know, if we turn around, um, you know, okay, you still get, you still get some of your money back. And then as, as I went through the day, I decided that I would put some of that money back, back to work. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just willing to risk it. Um, you know, if Fisker folds, um, kiss it goodbye. Uh, now, I didn't put it all back in. I, I did put a, a large chunk back in today, you know, and I know all about the wash sale rules, okay? I, I'm very tough. Um, I just decided that it was the right thing to do. And, you know, I purchased most of those shares back today right around the 14 cent mark. And I just felt led to do that. You know, was it the right thing to do? I have no idea. I will have to see how this plays out. What I would really like from Fisker is um, a statement. You know, Fisker's in a tough box if you think about it from their perspective. They had a going concern in, you know, the last conference call. Um, so how do they refute this? Now, the company that was brought in that the Wall Street Journal talked about, I don't remember the initials, uh, I'd have to look that up, seems like it's WTI or something like that, but I looked that company up, and that company most they, that company mostly does not deal with bankruptcies. It mostly deals with uh, mergers and acquisitions, and uh, you know, if you want to stretch out your funds farther, uh, make your funds go farther, uh, that company seems to be pretty good at that. And it just made me kind of question, you know, whether, you know, you know, is bankruptcy really going to happen? Is it a done deal? And I just got the feeling that it's not a done deal. I, I, don't, I don't, you know, I just, I just can't see Henrik and Gita and Bill McDermott going down without a fight. You know, and you've got Magna building the ocean. You've got a bunch of people here and a lot of companies that I simply don't think would want Fisker to go bankrupt. Now, on the flip side of that, I think you have a lot of companies that would want Fisker to go bankrupt. You know, anybody in the car space other than, you know, other than Fisker that doesn't potentially want to par partner up with Fisker, um, you know, they may potentially want Fisker to go under. Now, this is all speculation, okay? There, there's just there's just no way to know this, and what we need is a statement from Fisker. Um, hopefully, we get that. Maybe we've gotten that while I'm doing this video. I have no idea. Maybe we get that in the morning. Maybe Fisker is going to be completely silent on this until the 10K is filed. Which you know, if you've been watching my other videos, I expect that to get filed uh, tomorrow. And that's another thing that caused me to uh, rethink uh, purchasing some of my shares back. I'm like, you know, hey, uh, let's get back in uh, with money that I'm willing to, you know, just potentially, you know, let go because, you know, retail's the first to get squashed. Um, let's see what happens. And that's basically where I am. Now, what I did was I talked to... Uh, some of the people that, that watch my YouTube channel and, and follow and stuff like that. And I was kind of, I was kind of at a loss, you know, what do I do with this channel? Do I continue it? Do I keep doing videos on the ocean? And uh, overwhelmingly, uh, most people supported me continuing to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing, sharing the ocean with people, uh, talking about news as it comes up, and I'll do my best to keep you informed uh, based on the best of my knowledge. Now, if you're liking my content, please, you know, please hit the like button because that's going to help other people uh, find my content and help my channel grow. And, you know, maybe this becomes the biggest comeback story we've ever seen. You know, other companies have been through this. You know, Carvana uh, went through this. You know, maybe we end up being Carvana 2.0. And maybe we end up becoming Karma 2.0. There's just no way to know, guys. There's no guarantees in the stock market. Okay, but we have an excellent product, and I think some of the reviews out there have simply not done this product justice at all. And really, and that's why I started my YouTube channel in the first place. I just really felt like Fisker wasn't getting a fair shake out there, you know. So I became the re reluctant, you know, YouTuber, if you will. So uh, anyway, here I am, and we'll just have to see how this plays out, guys. Appreciate you tuning in, and thanks for the support.